Hey guys, this is Full Snack Developer here, and today we're going to be talking about cell shading, which is the style of shading that I use on all my illustrations that you guys have been asking about. Um, so for this example, I've got an apple here, and uh, I'm going to try to um, be quick with this. That's why I chose an apple, um, just to give you the basics, but you can use these on anything, um, any kind of illustration that you're using. So generally, I like to pull from an actual image. Um, to inspire my uh, my illustrations so that's why I've got this apple here um, so cell shading is basically a form of, uh, of thresholding the shades um, so the, the lightness and the darkness the contrast creates uh, these these thresholds which uh, when when layered create um, a 3d image um, so it was used back in the day to you know ease up on graphic cards uh, but now it's kind of an aesthetic so we're gonna get right into it um, I'm gonna start by just um, creating an outline of this apple with a pen tool uh, just to show, uh, give us something to work off of for our coloring. So uh, I'm just quickly roughing it out with a pen here, pen tool, um, just kind of a, a basic shape of an apple. So often I'll do this uh, just to show, um, or just to get, just to get a basic outline and then I refine it later. So let's get a black outline, out that a bit. Um, and then uh, just clicking A, I'm gonna refine this a little bit to get uh, get a little more of that full snack apple look. All right, so this is a lot of little tweaking here. We're gonna get right into the shading right away because that's what I want to focus in on this one and keep it short and punchy. And like I said, you can use this for any um, any amount of complexity. Uh, you know. However complex the illustration, you can always use these these exact same techniques. Um, so I'm just tweaking away here, getting close. Maybe drop it down. So as you can see, like I'm, I'm not um, I have an image for reference, but I usually uh, I usually like to put my own spin on it. Often I'll do um, uh, a little illustration. You guys have seen that in my stories if you if you uh, watch me on Instagram. Um, I like to you know sketch things out I'm an I'm an artist uh, first um, so okay we got kind of a basic shape and you know just to show exactly what I'm doing um, we're gonna get right into it all right so once I get this I'm going to um, copy it I'm gonna paste it push it to the back and uh, what I like to do for my illustrations this isn't per se cell shading but this is what I like to do is I just put a gradient on it to start with um, generally just kind of like the colors I'm going for and what I like to do is have one area that is um, lighter so uh, right away we're already kind of getting into the shading part of it um, as you can see here this apple uh, the light is kind of coming down here there's a, a spectrum on the apple over here uh, but the light is coming down and kind of casting a shadow so that's kind of how I, uh, I angle my gradient I, uh, I put the light lighter portion facing up and to the left in this case and maybe not so bright and then uh, I drop the color down on the other side so already we kind of get uh, a bit of a shade going on right now so what I'm gonna do is we're getting right into the cell shading so this is what you can do is when you're looking at your image um, it's kind of a way of looking at your image um, this is my inspiration here and I'm gonna just show you here um, Right away, I'm seeing this kind of uh, spherical, uh, spherical shadow. Um, so obviously, I know that the apple is round, so I want to kind of portray that. So right away, I know that my uh, my cell shading is going to be uh, curved. There aren't going to be uh, hard lines, and so there's this kind of first threshold. And I'm basically trying to find uh, you know a, a line of contrast. Uh, for the uh, for the apple on this uh, on this illustration here, so you can see here that that's kind of where I would draw my first line of shading. Now you got to give yourself some leeway. It's not going to be bang on. We're not going for crazy realism here, um, but just basically a general threshold. So that's kind of where I put the first one. Now, second one, I would say that you know it's curving in. The light is hiding this under uh, under here, and I can see that the the, the the color is getting darker and also around back. So my second one, my second threshold is gonna kind of look 
like that. Um, and so that's exactly how I look at, at images. I just try to find the threshold between um, between the light and dark, uh, and finding kind of like an aesthetic balance, right? So um, I want to show that it's you know uh, a large portion is bright red, then kind of coming into you know maybe a third of it shaded, and then uh, for the darkest part of the shadow, you know maybe um, maybe about a sixth of it. So just trying to find a balance of, you know, you know, not overshading because, you know, you could start it up here. I see a threshold here, but you know what? You want to kind of go for um, a more, you, you want to find that aesthetic, uh, aesthetic threshold. Um, so then for also for the lights, um, for the highlights, uh, obviously it's, it's pretty defined in this one, you know, um, starting out right here and I can see it and you can kind of just trace it along and imagine it's some kind of window or whatever uh, and so that's that's kind of that's obviously um, the the highlight is pr is pretty obvious in this one so that's the kind of technique that I use uh, when I'm looking at an an image also I think um, for this one too is I kind of just see this light highlight around the the edge uh, and the top so again I would uh, I would I would trace it out and I would kind of find that just outlining outlining highlight threshold which is you know probably roughly I'm doing this very roughly just uh, just to show but yeah that's kind of where I'd find the, um, the thresholds and then all of this obviously this isn't gonna fit on this one but um, would go on to on to kind of like this base gradient so I would I would choose um, a solid color you know black oh, um, there we go uh, probably black or a dark red or and then I'd change the opacity to 30 and then when I stack them on top of each other obviously the two opacities on top of each other you're gonna start to get this shade so these are all the crude ones from this one I'm going to uh, show you um, what I do on this one so um, just based based off this example um, I would bring kind of uh, one threshold up and around here like that and then I'm just gonna chop it um, to make sure it's the exact same copy and paste cut it out I'm just gonna eye drop that so that's that first that first threshold on this one um, again I'm doing it pretty quick uh, just just to show you the theory um, you can you can spend a lot of time I spend a lot of time you know finding the right uh, finding the right balance uh, as you can see in my videos if you follow me on Instagram uh, to get that that just right um, but in this case I'm just doing it pretty quick just to show you um, just show you the method um, and then you can spend uh, all the time in the world uh, uh, making it uh, making it perfect so as you can see now you can already start to see that it's like more shaded on the bottom we're finding these thresholds uh, that give it that uh, that cool look cool uh, cell shading look I can even just you know hijack this one um, turn the opacity down and uh, there we go and throw a little highlight on it um, again spend you can spend a lot of time finding that just that perfect um, aesthetic position and um, so ju it's just all about finding a threshold looking at it and uh, and finding the lines that's gonna look best um, to get that uh, to get that look. Now, um, I like to add. Sometimes I like to add uh, like lines um, on uh, on the on the cell shading. It's kind of just a, a style that I like to do. Um, that uh, that isn't exactly to do with um, doesn't exactly have to do with cell shading, but uh, it's just something I like to do aesthetically. Um, it's just kind of like create a line that follows uh, follows the follows the cell shading. Um, so basically, you can start to see that uh, this creates um, a spherical look. Um, so this was a very basic, um, very basic example. Um, just using an apple, um, you can use this same theory on. Uh, on more complex ones here. So, um, this is Qui-Gon Jinn. Yeah, I, I like Star Wars. Um, so again, it, just to even practice, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this image here, and uh, oh, here, let's get this stuff down. Um, I'm looking at this image, and right away, 
uh, I'm seeing these lines that we can follow. Um, I'm seeing, you know, there's a line here, you know, even let, let's just track it out. Um, oh, here, I'll get the... Uh, um, yeah, we can even just show you here. I'll switch that there. So, um, you know, the first point of, of shading would, you know, kind of come in along in here and maybe follow the nose, get the end of the side of the nose, um, and then come in down through the lips. The lips I'd probably shade on their own. And then, you know, you're just trying to find that threshold. There, there is a method you can go into, uh, and take your image into Photoshop. Uh, you can Google thresholding in Photoshop. Um, it's a good way to start out to practice. Um, but uh, using that on its own, I think, um, it, you know, it, it doesn't show you artistic, the, the artistic input that you can put in by, you know, finding the threshold yourself. Um, so there, uh, you know, I'd say that's the, um, that's the initial, you know, uh, the darkest shading. Um, I think for the second, you know, the second threshold, um, I might, you know, come down here and maybe highlight the eyebrows, um, follow the nose line, maybe come up and uh, show that nostril there. And um, so like, yeah, this is just, this is really crude, but this is just trying to show you like, um, using this this method on uh, on more complex uh, on more complex images you know so once you use this like I said you can use this on 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 any type of image or, or whatever you want to do so and then you know you can go right into the highlights you can actually have the highlights bump up into the shadows um, you, you you get what I'm saying here so that's basically uh, the the style of um, the style of shading that I use, it's the method that I look at images, and it's how I come up with my illustrations. So hopefully this has been helpful for you uh, if you're trying to, you know, um, mimic that cell shading style. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, follow me on Instagram, uh, check out my website, fullsnackdeveloper.com, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hear from you guys soon. Good luck.